everyone, it's Jess. On today's numerology triangle, we're going to learn about two sets of hidden numbers. The first set is the relationship with your father, and the second set is the relationship with your mother. And again, those are hidden numbers, so it's something that's within you and within your relationships, but it's not as obvious. And if you haven't figured out yet um, about your numerology triangle, you can look at my previous video and it will have step by step to show you how to get your own set of numbers for your triangle. So, so let's get started. Okay, so if you have your triangle ready, we're going to look something like this. And uh, again, if you haven't figured out your numerology triangle yet, please look at my first video, uh, Pythagorean Numerology 1.1, and you can figure out your own triangle. So in this scenario, we have um, the first set of uh, hidden numbers that's already written from last time. And then our second set for today, uh, we're going to do M, I, and J. M, I, and J. So on your uh, date and your month of your birthday. So when we add it up together, in this scenario, we'll get the number um, 11 and a 1 plus 1 is 2. So we're going to do a 2 on this side. And make sure you write down your number on your piece of paper because we're going to need it later for uh, revealing of different sets of numbers. So this is one set of number, and second set of number, and then my third set of number is going to be on the right-hand side of your triangle, which is your N, K, and L, or K, L, and N. So your year of birth added up together. So in this case, I have 2 plus 1 plus 1 equals 4. So this is a 4. Let's put a 4 in between uh, these three numbers on your right side of the triangle. And then we're going to look at uh, into what those numbers mean for your relationship with your parents. Okay, so when you have your chart ready, it's going to look something similar to this one here. And on the left side, again, is the relationship with your father. On the right side is the relationship with your mother. And I'm just going to put some initials here so it's easier to see. And I'm going to read the set of numbers uh, only one time, but it's going to depend on which parent that you have with, and that's going to review the relationship that you have with them. So if you get your number that is a 1, if your number is a 1, um, on either side of this uh, triangle, that means your relationship with that parent is you give each other a lot of freedom and a lot of space. So either your parents would not interfere with what you're doing or you don't interfere with your parents um, with regards to what they're busy or what they're up to nowadays. So this could work either way. And again, if this number happened, if you have a one on your M, I and J, that means it's a relationship with your father. And if you have the one on your right side, that means and K and L is your relationship with your mother that you give each other a lot of space. Okay, so next up, if you get your number is a two, so when your M I J or N K L add up to be a number two, that means your relationship with your parents is actually really, really, really great. So if it happens on the left side, that means uh, you have great communication with your dad and vice versa, your dad has great communication with you. Or if it happens on the right side, that means your mom really enjoy talking with you and you really have a good relationship with your mom. Okay, next up is if you get your number is a three. A three, if it happens on the left side, that means you always get into conflict with your dad and you always get annoyed with each other. Uh, if it happens on the right side, that means you always ended up arguing with your mom and you don't even know why. And here's why, because your connection uh, reflects uh, conflict. So next up is if you have a number four. If you have four with either side of your parents' side, that means you are probably smarter than people your same age. And it could mean uh, two different meanings in this case. The first meaning is that you get your uh, smart genes from, if it's happened on your dad's side, that means from your dad's side. Or if you uh, have this number four on the right side with your mom, that means you get your smart genes from your mom. Or 
it could also mean that、uh, you always plan for each other. So that means if it's happening on your left side, that means you always have something planning for your dad, like what kind of retirement home he's going to go into, or vice versa, that he's going to plan for you, what kind of school you go to, what kind of career you should be in.、Um, and same if it happens on your mom's side. Okay. Next up is if you have your set of number added up to be a five. A five means trouble. So if it happens on your left side, that means you always cause trouble for your dad.、Uh, maybe he always have to bail you out from something, or vice versa.、Um, it could be you bailing your dad out. Out of trouble,、uh, and same if it happens on the right side. So if your NKL added up to be a five, that means your mother always bring you trouble, or always gets you、um, don't know what to do with her, or vice versa. You always bring your mother trouble, and she doesn't know what to do with you. So next step is if you have a number added up to be a six.、Uh, six is the number of money. So that means that if it happens on your left side, that means you when you're talking with your dad, your topic would always somehow ended up surrounding money. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just that what your conversation is focused on.、Um, same thing if it happens on your mom's side. That means maybe she's already talking about money with you, or you're always talking about money with her. So next setup number is if you have a number added up to be a seven. If you have a seven, a seven remember is a guardian angel number. So if it happens on your left side with your dad, that means you would always protect each other, and you would try your best to not let each other get hurt. If it happens on your right side, that means same thing happened with your mom, or your mom would always try to protect you, vice versa. So next group is if you add it up to be a number eight. If you have an eight with either one of your parents, that means that、um, you feel、uh, pressure talking with them, or they feel pressure talking with you. So it could very well reflect that either one of you has a superior、uh, status or education or background of some sort, and、um, the other person, when you're talking to each other, you always have this invisible stress or pressure talking to this person. Last setup number is nine, and if you have a nine、um, with your father or with your mother, that means that、um, either or again is either or, either you would inherit、um, some business from either one of your parents, or、uh, your parents would give you a lot of business advice, or vice versa, you would give business advice to either one of your parents depending on. Which side is nine ended up on? So does that make sense? So that's it for today. Thank you so much for sticking up with me. I hope it's not too boring for you, and you actually learn something from this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and like. And we'll see you next time with another set of hidden numbers. Bye for now.